Drugs that can control serotonin can have a, a wide-ranging impact on organisms. For example, these snails over here have been shown to drop off the sides of tanks at certain concentrations of antidepressants in the water. We know that serotonin controls aggression in these crabs here. We know that these particular shrimp here change colour dependent on levels of serotonin and dopamine in their body. So an antidepressant that can alter those could potentially change their colour also. And we also know that concentrations in here, it just takes a concentration this amount. If that was placed in an Olympic sized swimming pool would change the ability of these shrimp inside here to be perceive light and they would become attracted to light. Downstream of sewage treatment plants, the, these uh, estrogenic substances were having effects on feminizing the fish. We can detect that in male fish, they were showing signs of being feminized. We don't know yet whether the antidepressants that we're currently looking at are having an effect in the rivers and streams and, and in the oceans around our countries. Um, but we do know from laboratory studies that the concentrations that we detect them in the environment can have sometimes very subtle but sometimes very dramatic effects on the biology of these aquatic organisms. Amphipod shrimp, for instance, uh, can be more attracted to light. Uh, usually they would hide away from light and look, look for dark areas, but if we put antidepressants in the water which will alter their serotonin, they will suddenly become more attracted to light and spend more time in the light. As a result of that, they may be more likely predated upon because they like to hide underneath rocks and seaweed which might have an effect on their populations. The ultimate repository of the water in our rivers are the estuaries and then the oceans. Um, so we are uh, continually flushing out all our human waste down into the sea. Not all of this waste gets broken down. Some of it bioaccumulates in the aquatic organisms. Some of it gets locked away in the sediment for a period of time. And when that sediment may be redredged, it might um, take the chemicals back out and then where it can have a biological effect. We need to get a handle on all the different biologically active chemicals that we take as pharmaceuticals. We shouldn't just take this for granted that once we pop a pill then that it doesn't have an effect on the environment because large percentages of the active chemicals we take don't remain in our bodies, they get excreted from our bodies. We, it then ends up in a sewage treatment plant which doesn't have the capability to fully break down these chemicals so they ultimately end back up out in the environment and even though they're incredibly low concentrations what we're finding out now is these minute trace concentrations of chemicals can still have an impact on our wildlife. Mm -hmm.